classic truck rescue welcome back to the channel folks bright and early on a monday morning brother jim had some errands to run but i'm excited because we're finishing up our work out here these guys are cleaning out the hold on i'll put you up here these guys are cleaning everything out of the shop got my heat pump a bookcase that we can use in a workbench going on the car trailer then they're going to start raising that shop up and busting the floor out of it oh. it's a good little workbench Go forward. Well, that's going to fit perfect, isn't yeah, it? Is. Sweet. Good, Mark. We'll bring that end over. There we go. It'll ride just like that, fellas. Thank you. You want that? You should take mm. that. That's no. Really right. no, it's the irrigation what thing. I'm not. I'm not going to. I got a bad habit of collecting junk, <laughs> you and I'm trying to break myself of that. This is it right here. Is he cutting that floor? Is who cutting what floor? Jim. No, I cut the floor. Is it ready to go up? I'm going now. One side's ready to go up. Okay. Hey. I stayed extra. I sent him home because he was all tired and whiny. Okay. I said I told those guys I'd cut this house in half. You showed me a picture. I sent I you a picture. Yeah. I said lift away. Okay. Lift away. Okay, yeah. Holy cow! Oh, you're trying to get it where you can get on there. Don't even tell me that was easy to pick up. <laughs> there they go, folks. These guys do not waste time. <laughs> They've been here. They had this cleared out in about 20 minutes. Yeah, get that thing out of here. I don't have to jack. No. No, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit bringing home everything just because it's free. I'm not that happy about you. I am very bad. Well, you see my property, <laughs> but I don't. I, the trucks aren't free. <laughs> that? The, no. No. It's so good. Looks good. I'm taking my chances. Yeah, I'm trying to clean my property up. Might have to take the car. No. I don't think I have to take anything. I, I don't. This guy is saving our man of money. Like you want your rug? What? Did you know how much it costs to demo this? It costs him $50,000 to demo this. That leak. Really? Yeah. We're in the wrong business, man. I just wonder why I'm not doing anything for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll go too. Come on, save time. <laughs> Watch your rug. That's one of my scraps. No, I don't have a place to put it. That's oh, where no, you, I, I don't have a place to put oh, this stuff. Well, you're supposed to have your roof on your barn. Yeah. What happened? Uh, this <laughs> happened. This house happened. Yeah. Uh, eventually, not now. I'm not ready to get this. that door. If we can get that off. Take the door off. <laughs> yeah, because okay. I'm run scabbing. That way, I just get it. Man, you won't be waiting on me. <laughs> okay. You got and I already put bolts in the end of this one, so it can't go past. That can just go on the trailer anywhere. I'll put it in the truck, but I'm gonna get this door off for you. I get it. I get it. Is it good? Yeah, I mean... I tried to straddle and I don't know if I did or not. Nah, you're fine. Oh. Yeah, you missed it. Oh. It's just old man. Just old man stepping in the hole wrong. That's all that was. Oh, man. It's because I started my day off working with you guys. I got to ease into it. You guys jump right in. I 
Hey, thank you, Mark. You guys didn't have to do that. Thank you, though. Oh, I will make it easy with five minutes compared to an hour. Right on. I appreciate it. Ooh. What do you think of my floor cut? It's loose over here. Yeah, oh, I'd appreciate it, Mark, if you'd take a look first or have someone take a look. But I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's cut all the way through. All right. Should be clear. Well, there we go. Told you guys I was going to get the whole process. The last thing we have to do is disconnect the power that goes from the shop to the house. This is Daniel from uh, Canby Utility. This is a big step, getting the power undone because we needed the power while we were tearing the house apart. Right on. Daniel, do you mind? Do you mind if we include you in that we're making a mega production video about A to Z moving a house 10 miles from Canby, Oregon to... Uh, 25 acre ranch on the river in Malala there you go. and we want to thank you for doing your part and disconnecting the power because we're not using it really for anything but charging cameras right now <laughs> and they're all charged so we're good thank you so this will be good to go if you just pick up on the house straight up, then you can probably get enough slack in here. Yeah, just kind of feed the wires down in there. If you want, I can loosen these up right here. So all I have to do is take these two square-headed screws out. And just take the can you off. do that? And then, and then I will take those two square-headed screws out. Okay. I'll just take the panel off the house and leave the wire behind. And we'll just yeah. use it for the next house or something. Yeah. One of the next 15 houses, Daniel. <laughs> They're putting 15 only, out here. Only 15? That's what he said, I think. They put nine houses on an acre over. Wow. Nine times 25, you could get a lot of houses on our property. Uh -huh. It's been there a minute, Daniel. You might have to borrow my vice grips. Ooh. Yeah. You want my vice grips? Sure. I got it. Oh, you got it? You said you're too slow, Rick. That one's a problem, child. There it went. Yeah, if you just take the two screws out of there, mm -hmm. pop this whole base off of there. Nothing Throw it in the just, kitchen cabinet. Or just take a screwdriver to this ring right here. Yeah. And just get that ring off of there and the two screws. And I can just pull the box off? Just pull the box off of it. What if I want to leave the box on? Oh yeah, that makes sense. No it doesn't! Not cool at all! Just make sure they go straight up with the house and the pipe will stay there. Yeah. Why? Why would you do that? What, what, what is the matter with you?
you people! Okay. The wire. It'd be easiest to take the box off temporarily. Okay. Do it! Just do it! That way you'll just be completely in the clear. Just All right. Box in the house and. Roger that. But for if you want to put a, you're doing a new house and stuff like that. You probably want to change your panel anyway. To oh. A better panel. Oh, okay. You know what this is? It's up to you. Just do it. All right. A lot of times, if you put a panel that has breakers on it, you can actually plumb from that later on to uh, something else you need instead of being stuck with have to call a power company yeah. time to shut the power off. Got you. All right. So I'll leave this here. And you are disconnected. All right. We appreciate you, Daniel. Good job. You're welcome. Why does your shirt say Doug, though, Daniel? <laughs> I got it from a friend. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank this you. This day and age, I can identify as Doug, right? Yeah, you identify as Doug. That's fine. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> you too. Bye. So I got my floor all cut from one end to the other. This section of the house should be ready to lift. And then I will come over here. I'll uncover this, and I'll probably just start taking sections of the floor out. Like I'll make a cut that way, and cut it. Kind of work my way. Also, I have to take out this section of this wall, cut it as flush to the plastic as possible because this is the widest part of the house that's going to be going down the road. So long ways, it'll be going from end to end down the road that way, but this section is really wide this way. Mark, can you explain the J-bolts real quick? Yeah, they stuff down the house. So if a hurricane ever uh, hits or something, they put the whole house down. Yeah, so the, the reason they're blocking this out is because they have those J-bolts and they can't just lift it up, it'll rip the wood to pieces below. I want to get you guys some shots of this house actually going up. a good spot for you to get a shot of a jack in action. Man, you guys break the whole foundation in. Huh? Oh, I'll go get it. I got a, a camera right there. Is that out of your way? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get this whole experience for you guys. This is a huge moment in our lives. We'll have to do a little repair, folks. That's, that's just a given. Larry, I got a camera right there. Okay. If you have to move it, that's fine. get the floor all the way cut. Cut it? Yeah. So I almost had it cut. It all the mosey. All the mosey. guys do not play around, man. You got to stay out of their way. They move fast. Oh. 
Boy, that's a busy little spot right there. I think we'll be all right. They've got it blocked on every beam. Yeah. It's supported equally everywhere. I'll get a shot at Mark operating this stuff. Those are his jacks. Looks like he's got one, two, three, four jacks going. Two on this end, two on the other end. Wow! I didn't even notice. Wow! Yeah, they're already lifting this thing, folks. Look at there. Look e there. get it so uh is that mark so now you guys put more cribbing yep. and then you move your jacks up no, huh when i was taking out the conduit and stuff i noticed big holes i actually my knee fell in one of them 
And I said, that looks like a fresh hole. Why would they dig holes? We're going up. Uh, that's why they're doing the lifting part and I'm doing the cutting. Uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. And then they just build up their rigging or their uh, cribbing. They're cribbing and yeah. move the jack up. Oh, you're putting in more cribbing. Yeah, I'm going to put a oh, base you make down it wider. and then, then I can restack. That it. makes sense. It's just like a climbing jack, just got to do it manually. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get this camera and myself out of your way, right. and I'll go position it where it's not in your way. That looks pretty level according to this floor on these stringers here. Oh wow, you went up some more. See? Getting. Looks good. Yeah? How, are you happy with it? Yeah. Before? Yes, I am. Very happy. Right with on. It. Yep. You bring that little team in out there eventually. They've got her up about a foot, folks. And Mark says he's happy with the way it's going up. So if he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a beautiful thing, folks. Thank you, Lord. America! About uh, 45 pounds. <laughs> uh, maybe about eight pounds when Larry's working. Mark can tell how much the house weighs by it weighs, this. Uh, right now it weighs about 30 tons. 30 tons? Well, that's with the dolly. Well, it weighs about 32 with the dolly. This half of the house. Yeah. 32 tons. But by itself it weighs about 28. Yeah, well, I was talking to him uh, Friday. I was showing him your little contraption here. Unified jacking system, by the way. And I was telling him, I think he said it weighs like 13,000 pounds. Yeah, Apparently, it's a little that. more than that. I'll go with 13,000 You wish, right? <laughs> Is that, that's extremely under what it weighs, right? 13,000 pounds. Well, yeah, that's, a, yeah. that's only seven, that's a six and a half times. See, he knows that kind of math. I don't. Well, it ain't hard, but well, what wait, what are you saying then? It ain't hard. <laughs> well, every every 2,000 a ton. Now, I think in the shipyards, they got long tons and short tons. Oh, like, okay. That's where you might want to determine. Can I claim some kind of ignorance yeah, based on that? Yeah, I'm awful. Thank you. It. Ignorance is just a lack of knowledge. I did a lot of it. I, I actually, in the first place, started ignorance. Yeah, we try to fix a little bit of that every day, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. But there's so, such a lineup, you can't ever get to the bottom of the list, you know? Yeah. Always something else to follow through. <laughs> Larry, are you coming down? KK, yeah. are you bled down? Larry, are you bled down? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, which one are you on? The far right. Okay, far right. Yeah, it's, uh, okay, here, I'll switch you over. Yours is down. Okay, oh, is it? Okay. Okay, that's what I need to know. Okay, I'll just keep on moving these hoses, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> You're down over there, Larry? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, Larry. Just reset that jack if it's down. That one right there, Mark. Okay, this one needs to go down? Yep. Okay. Just gotta remember where the hoses go because if you don't, you can't fit the house properly. Yeah. I imagine one hose plugged into the wrong spot at the wrong time make could all the difference make the a big problem. You got like one light corner, one heavy. Oh yeah. You it up, the heavy will stay down, it's not the least resistant. Yeah. And then until you unify it, then they all work together. But until that point, they're all individual. Hence the unified hydraulic jacking system. Right, so there we go. <laughs> okay, are you going down, KK? Yeah, I'm getting it. Okay, I'm going to get Larry's here. I'm going to get the heck out of your way. You're not in Larry, is this part kind of fun for you? I mean, I know you're still working your off yeah, but cool. watching it go up it's kind of the fruit of your labor isn't it yeah yeah I don't like, like fruit. 
He don't like fruit. I don't like fruits. <laughs> I, I like a, a, a piece of, well, I'm not even gonna say that. I like apples and strawberries. Did you take a picture of your fireplace? No. But I got lots of film on my fireplace. Oh, you mean uh, how you guys got it rigged up? Yeah, I got to take this uh, handy cam down there. <sighs> oh, I can get my best shot of the fireplace from over there. Oh, yeah. In your head, KK? Yeah, these nails right here. Hey. Oh. Ain't the first time. Oh, those are the ones that had the 4x4 four four posts hey, on them. Unplug it, take the hose where it should be, and bring it around and put it back in. Once you get it flat off, you can just. Larry, watch your head. Might be a Yeah, I think These guys look out for each other. They're a team. You guys are a team, right, KK? Team. And KK just took one for the team and made sure Larry didn't take another one. <laughs> you need a hand order or you two guys got that back? Ah, right you here. better get a hand, I think. I'll help you. Maybe the block has got water logs and got heavy over that. I'm not really sure. Might be a Zag Yeah, I said bend the mills up when you pull them, but obviously not. Okay. Ready. Okay. Let's get that jack in there, please, down. How much those jacks weigh, Mark? About uh, 45 pounds. Yeah, a lot of fun to move around on your knees in tight spaces. Uh, maybe about 8 pounds with those. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty pounds. Oh, we get the real story from KK over here. Oh, did you see the crack? I did see it. Uh, those cracks were there before, weren't yeah, right? They they, were. Yeah. Yeah, that's the block going this way. I know, but those big cracks. So, I, if I people see this, they're gonna be oh, they they messed that up. Well, are you talking about this? Yeah, that was yeah, there. They said that's they put that there. Yes. That's Delicate. Yeah, I noticed that when I was taking the ducting out, but you can see that the mortars undisturbed from their beams up So that means they have the fireplace properly uh, this year, Supported here this year. All they did was break it. Yeah. It yeah, and you can see that they had to break all of the uh, Bottom of the fireplace out underneath the beams. Here, That's not easy to do under a house when you're on your knees and crawling around in the dirt and spiders and plastic and <laughs> they got me you all right turn turn towards me where i can see it well, are you oh, got me right ready, right. between my hair between your hair <laughs> yeah it doesn't have to work hard to get me between the hair kk <laughs> anywhere between my ears it will work I have a feeling I shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Holy cow, folks. Wow. And we didn't need that corner of the house. They're giving themselves a little wiggle room. <laughs> Yeah, so, we're real happy with it, KK. It should be. It's, it's, you know what you paid for, it, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, because it's it, 
it's in as good a condition as something I would build brand new. <laughs> you know, everything's you nice. Huh? How old is this? It's 1987. Oh, okay. When I crawled underneath it and saw all the wood, I was very happy. You still bleeding? Nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. They sealed it up real good underneath. Uh I can't believe it. That, that's good. Yeah. With something in your way there, Mark? Yeah. You scored. Yeah, I we're happy with it. We it's a blessing. My house is about the same. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do a camera walk. And, uh, but yeah, that fireplace is well supported. Very well supported. Okay, here we go. Okay, don't give me some signal. of that cross steel is hanging out past that side of the building? Five inches. Okay, that's no biggest. So I could go up all the way? Yeah, just go tell the other half to be cut. Oh, they get it, cut it? Uh, what needs to be cut? Nothing. No, he did not. Okay, I'll, I'll leave it worked out. Is that something I need to do, Mark? Uh, well, eventually you gotta cut the other half, right? Yeah, I'm getting ready to do that right now. Yeah, and, yeah. Okay. But you don't need that cut to lift this side. Uh, no, I'll be all right. Take it about as high as I need it to be right this minute. Okay. Yep. Do you not want to hold these guys up? They got a system. It runs smooth, and you don't want to be the one holding it up. 
Where's the cross sill? Oh, I see. I see. This is in the way over here. Mark said that's uh, as high as the house needs to go. So thank you guys for raising the house up. Coming out this morning and just raising the house up. <laughs> have no other way. <laughs> and now you're going to put your dollies under there. And probably, uh, I probably ought to get to work on uh, getting the floor cut off the other section, huh? That's a good idea. That way you'll be ahead of the game. I'm trying to be ahead of the game. I don't want to slow this machine that is you three up. <laughs> It <laughs> just squoze. Well, you're getting hard of hearing. I can't. Don't worry. <laughs> he said, give him 20. Yeah. Yep. All right, so this is the final time they're setting everything down on the cribbing. Uh, and then they'll be off over here too, working on lifting the other section, off which means I got to get to work, please. folks. I can't just keep playing with cameras all day.
a heavy door. That's not a cheap door. <clears throat> not a cheap door. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate that. We appreciate all of this. I can't say enough how thankful I am for this. This is just wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you found rocks? Oh, no. Oh, and you got to dig down so you can get your jack in there. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Yeah. Right on. But I guess they sent the right man for the job, KK. Yeah, they did, because it's done. Yeah, it's too wide, but it's all right. It'd be all right. Oh, well, I guess I better go cut that wall out of the way. not gonna do itself I got that door off that door it's just leaning over there if you guys want to uh, yeah the man door pretty pretty solid door <laughs> yeah yeah I think you guys are crazy. <laughs> That's what I think. Holy cow. A lot better with all that out way, huh? Wow. Yeah, that baby looks like it's almost ready for transport. Yeah, <laughs> Holy cow. So eventually, folks, they end up breaking all of the foundation out. All of it. Wow. I better take some measurements before they move the house. That's an operator. That's an equipment operator. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Is that camera all right, right there, just yeah. while I cut this wall real oh, quick? Yeah. And then I'll move it. Okay. I got that door off for you too, but it's a solid core, so it's just leaning okay. over there. If it was easy, everyone would do it. For some reason, every bit of my foil was draining out of this. Oh, well, it sits. I don't know why. Plenty of fuel. That oil too. Let's get her done. I ain't cutting through <coughs> all that insulation. Oh, heck no. Oh, my word. 
Oh my word. No, we will not be doing that. Oh.
getting there. We're getting there, Mark. We're getting there. Where are you going, buddy? I was gonna crawl, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to chop this floor off. I don't want to hit one of you guys. No, I'll be over here. All right. So that's after that. I'm done. Well, I gotta seal this wall up. I guess I should do that first, maybe. Yeah, I guess I'll get that sealed up. Yeah, it is. It's insanely warm. I hear the swimming hole calling me, though. I can hear it calling clear from Malala. <laughs> All right, you guys. Yeah, you leave that right where you found it. Yeah. Uh, Long enough to get through this floor. Yeah. Oh, maybe oh, back, it back 20, there it is. Twenty. Yeah. As as I got That's a good one. Farm boss is just just good enough grade to make it last. Yeah, you buy any cheaper that will take I had an old steel 036. Best yeah, saw I ever had. Dog. Ran smooth over all with metal. my brush hog. Was it all metal? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, nowadays they're not so... No, I have an old one too. They make it the same size. But it's all metal. It's yeah, last year. 271. All mine's a 3 so. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be ready to jack this up. Tomorrow I'll be ready for you oh, to jack it up. This will be gone. Because that's what's happening right uh, now. Oh. Well, even if you, if you get it cut all the way through and if it ain't gone, don't worry about it. Oh, no, it won't be gone. It'll just be over okay. down there. All right. When I, yeah, when I jack it up, I'll just. Uh, I'll have this off of there. Cool. 
All right, well, we're out of here. I gotta go to the yard and take a let it load. All right, thank, thank you for the dinner. That was great. Still kicking ass. You're thank doing you. A great job. Take the well, you are too. I appreciate the. Uh, I'm taking myself to the swimming hole. I'm dying too, but it's called the toilet. I'll yeah. Say, I'll film at 11. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> you have a good night. All right. You too, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you.
that's it folks that is it I'm done I did what I came to do I think I get your mom and start lifting this section I have stayed one step ahead of those guys and then that's not easy they move fast but I've been one step ahead of them and not in their way and that was the goal uh. I need a break. Peace out. Peace out. Oh. Well, folks, that's it. I've done my part. The house is completely cut in half. And rather nicely, if I do say so myself, and I do, uh, I do want to come back before they move it and trim the roof. Uh, it's jagged like that because we cut it out from underneath rather than go up on the roof. We wanted to see where we were cutting and it was just easy to chip away at it one piece at a time and toss it down as I went. Um, but we can just go back, well I'll just go back and run a chalk line, cut it straight above the trusses. And uh, But I'm, I'm happy with it. From the plastic in, on both sides the house is perfect and uh, it was a lot of work I'm grateful for the opportunity I want to thank Terry and his company Amer International those guys are just phenomenal they know what they're doing and they do it quickly all right folks I guess they'll be working on that little shop over there tomorrow getting it raised up but like I said I've got all my stuff done so Next for me, we'll be at home making the driveway and clearing the home site. Got some big trees to take down and a big, big driveway to put in. So, peace out. Thanks for watching.